Good morning, my lovely ones. Happy Monday and welcome to October. Goodness. Here we are, loves, in Libra season in October and feels like this energies, this time flies by. Let's see here, loves, how we are start this week, how the things are and how the days are. Looking for the daily energy, daily messages, whatever in the world you are, I welcome you. Either you come around in the morning or either you come around in the evening, you are welcome to see it. And this morning, this message for this daily, I I will call it for whoever needs to hear this message. Because many, many times we are running around throughout the zodiac signs. But I want you to think of a possible energy. And we'll look into that. No matter whatever that is. A good a bad, whatever you are in right now. Let's see, loves. For some reason, I choose this deck, but feels like sticky. And I'm not sticky at all. For some of you, there is some kind of sticky situation out there. But let's see. What do we have for October 2nd? Well, a sticky situation that moves forward. Eight of Wands, the star, it's kind of like movement, clarity coming in. Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and Judgment. An ace of wands it's kind of like let's get to work let's do the work it's like give give it a chance there's something here like you need to give it a chance or to put in effort page of wands five of swords two of swords seven of swords Five of Wands. Oh my goodness, what's going on, loves? Justice. Empress. Hierophant. And Nine of Swords. Look at here, loves. There's no cups besides this page of cups. We have two pages. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. The Five of Cups is missing. Somebody here needs to let go of something from the past. A past situation, a past energy. Something here that kind of like try to put you down. Or some of you, you go through a situation that it's going on for quite a while now. We have Judgment, Justice, Hierophant and the Empress. It's kind of end the star. This can be worked out. Two of Swords, Nine of Swords makes the Ten and then Ace of Swords. It's kind of you crystal clear now what will bring you to the place where you are. But let's see, the Five of Swords clarifier, Seven of Wands, another Seven, Four of Cups, Page of Swords, King of Cups. It's kind of maybe there is something else. The Two of Swords, Ten of Swords. It's kind of somebody here says no right away, not even trying. Two of Wands. Two of Pentacles, King of Wands. 
There's something here about don't doubt that the new energy might look better. The only two missing is two of cups. There's something here like we need to give it a chance. The seven of swords, the wheel of fortune, knight of pentacles, and the fool. Kind of when we need to make a chance or change, we gotta keep going. The five of wands, here is the ace of cups, the new energy here, the lovers, and the temperance. It's kind of like the new will bring more stability groundness and improvement whatever that new looks like six of wands four of swords and king of pentacles it's kind of like the things will follow afterwards exactly the way you asked the universe yeah. It's time for a deep dive, loves. Whatever the situation here is. Look at this. High priest is like deep down when somebody here does know. It's like energetically or spiritually someone here knows. This is. I will clarify here also this five of pentacles, knight of swords, the world, the hangman, the nine of cups, the queen of pentacles. And here is underneath the Five of Cups. So it's time for change. Some of you, you are going through a major change or it's coming a major change. Could this major change happening within three days? Three days, I'd say three days, five days, five weeks. Or by the, the full moon in Taurus. And when we have the full moon in Taurus, that's November 28th. And we have also a lunar eclipse. So by the end of November, this change is happening, which is huge. Because we have all the fives here, inclusive the major arcana of the Hierophant five. So someone here, definitely here, will gonna change their view of how things work or how they want the things work to work. We have two knights, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, which are the opposite knights. Certain things here needs to start moving, and till now somehow did not. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. They come up back to back, which really speaks of something it's off or something doesn't work or how supposed to work. We have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. I might speak here with a fire and a water energy, but also we do have this Knight, the, the Page of Swords. The, the only King is missing, it's King of Swords, the Clarity. Somebody here is looking for clarity. What I do wrong or what doesn't work or what is wrong in all this or how the things are wrong. What's here?
but I feel here the clarity is like the energy is the two of cups which is the two of cups we do have it here there is something here to be left behind and enjoy the new I will look really quick in the deck look at here next we have the ten of pentacles for some of you this is a um, situation financially how we get out from the situation or from from this tangled energy because I see a very tangled energy so here is king of swords right away and then we have the tower so something here it's it's gonna happen very quick I don't feel you see it or even know it but look at this we have the the death so something here definitely it's it's gonna change and will change tremendously the the two of cups we are searching right now because it was like what we are looking here so look at this two of cups is right here page of pentacles a new beginning a, a very well waiting new beginning it's here and I feel here whatever it is the new beginning will bring happiness yes stability so for some of you loves expect new things expect a change and for those of you who do not have a job or who struggle financially expect improvement financially certain things here start or is gonna start to work but yes spirit says give it a little time i feel here there is something that definitely comes and many of you might not you might not expecting it the way it comes but it will come pretty beautiful advice from spirit to you loves don't run away of change let the change go naturally let the change to come whatever here needs to go let it go welcome the change yes look at this page of pentacles because it's very much well weighted knight of wands nine of pentacles seven of cups it's kind of like in front of you a lot of opportunities are gonna come and sometimes will overwhelm you but at the same time will make you happy so don't feel you can't do it because for some of you whatever it's coming will make you happy but at the same time definitely will um, will feel like a pressure a constant pressure so if you need help don't hesitate to ask for help all right loves and of course let's see one oracle for you and i will use the wisdom of the oracle deck let's see what advice we got from the oracles thinker young to the sea this is kind of go with the flow and higher power the universe is coming in the universe is guiding you and we have mending it's kind of allow the things to to flow look at this chaos and conflict fork in a road never ending story and loyal heart and regeneration yes so definitely here this is like the tower moment something here will come and whatever here was all over the place or is all over the place it's kind of will be a, a null a vid um a empty space for the new things to come and grow and with the mending energy here and then a leg up there's certain things here you will need to allow to go and other to come in and a leg up speaks about them 
the help. What I want to read for you is the higher power here, the number four card. Essential meaning for this card speaks as conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine. Seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. It is time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy for you. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Prosperity message here for you. Sometimes your work just flows through you. Ideas come rushing in and inspiration bubbles up from a well spring you didn't even knew you could access. When you enter agreements, begin projects and negotiating deals with spirit as your partner, you will always succeed. Let your higher power lead. The synchronicities and intuitive nudges you feel will help you which way you are being pointed, giving you confidence to move forward in the right direction. Don't forget to give credit where it is due. You wouldn't be a success without spirit guidance. Humility will serve you well when these symbols appear. And, of course, we have the protection message for you. Now is the time to examine what you are giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind. If you are obsessing about being right, about all the resentment or failed expectations, about money or about any other person, places and things. This will be the source from which you create. But you want spirit to be your source. Take heart for your higher power. You never desert you and is always waiting for you to remember that sacred partnership you share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust there will be taking care of, of you. You are in good hands. So, my loves, you are definitely you are in good hands, no matter whatever you are going through. Because the divine here helps you through. Blessings, loves. I hope this message gained and arrived to you. And if it is, I thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.